Hi everyone. So if I look a mess, that's because I haven't done my hair yet. And that is because today I am here to test with you for my first time ever, the brand new Dyson Air Straight. I say brand new because this is only just launched in the UK. I know it's been available for quite some time in the US, but I've been waiting so long to get my hands on this. On the Dyson UK website at the moment, it still says coming soon, but I did actually register for pre-order. So I was able to get it a little bit sooner. I think you can still do that now so if you get on the list you might be lucky and be able to get yours straight away like I did. Now I filmed a lovely unboxing of this and I managed to delete it so I cannot show you the unboxing unfortunately but the important thing really is how this works and as you can see here from my hair I have very naturally wavy hair and if I let this dry completely naturally it's very frizzy and it needs a lot of styling with the curls. If I use a diffuser I can really pop it up and make it very curly but I do find that quite a lot of work to be honest. So what I've been using is basically GHD straighteners on my hair for the last 15 years and now as I approach 50, I'm 47 now, my hair is really starting to tell me off. It doesn't like all this heat damage and I think I just need to be more gentle on my hair. So I want to try this out today the absolute first time. I, I tried a little bit on dry hair yesterday if I'm going to be completely honest with you, only for five minutes just so I could get a feel of it. But I have never dried my hair with it so I would love to know can I dry my hair with this and not need my GHDs to finish off or will will this do a nearly good job and I'll still need the GHD? Because I have tried drying my hair with the brush accessories. I have the, the Shark which is fabulous and that does nearly straighten my hair but I do always need to switch to my straighteners to finish off. And certainly on non-wash days I need to use my straighteners every single day because during the night I get more frizzy here and it just needs touching up all over. So if I can ditch my hot irons basically my hair will be much happier so I would love it if this can do that. So what I'm going to do now is dry my hair as I would normally with you and you can see exactly what this does and we can see the finish and then tomorrow I'm going to film for you what my hair looks like first thing in the morning so does it still look straight first of all which is something I've heard can happen when you use this which would be fantastic and if it does need a bit of a touch up can I just use this for my touch up and can I completely completely ditch my hot irons and switch to this because I'm really excited if I can but this has cost an awful lot of money and it's a big investment so I'm really hoping it pays off. I've heard some fantastic reviews of this so I'm very hopeful. Let's see. The first thing I want to show you on it that I was mostly concerned about was the weight. I thought that this was going to be a lot heavier because it does look more bulky than my GHDs. I was worried about it hurting my wrist because I do have quite weak wrists. But it's not heavy at all actually, it's not that cumbersome and it's not that bulky. So that's the first first tick for me because that was very important. I was worried that this would put me off. And I have my plug here at the bottom of the desk and I can just reach it above my head. So you do need, the, the wire isn't long enough for you to be a long way from the plug. You do need to be quite close to the plug. So that's something to think about. And in the reviews I've seen from the US, um, they seem to have this big box attached to the actual wire itself, which was the power, and this one doesn't have it. I don't know if that's because um, UK electrics are different. I haven't got a clue about any of that, I'm afraid. But just so you know, it doesn't have that big bulky box attached to the actual wire. What it does have is a very bulky plug which I'll just show a clip of because that video didn't delete. So it's just a quick clip to show you what the plug looks like here. And you can see it's got a tester to make sure that it's safe for you to use because this does eat a lot of power and you need to make sure that it's safe to use in your particular plugs in the home. I'm able to run mine off an extension with no problem whatsoever. So I'm very pleased with that. Right, let's look at the actual device before my hair dries and we'll never get this done. So here we go. Here's the button here for opening. And that's all you do. And here's a set of buttons here for controlling it. And this one here is the on button. And when I switch this on, it will just run a blast of air through to clean the machine, which I'll just show you now. There we are. And now it's ready to go. I'll just quickly say now while it's off, because I can't speak once it's on, 
This button here determines whether you want it on dry hair or wet hair. This button here is for a cold blast, so you've got the blue. This one here determines the speed of the fan, there's two speeds. And this one here is your temperature. There's two temperatures you can use and there's actually a boost which could be useful for um, styling the next day if you're using it on dry hair for straightening. So I might use that at the end. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with wet as the option, wet hair, and I'm going to leave the settings completely without touching them initially. See if I need to take the heat up or not, but I will leave it as it is set. So it'll be on the lower heat setting and it'll be on the preset fan setting. And I'll run a cold blast over my hair. Now we'll just see how many times I need to go over my hair to get it dry. It's damp, it's not soaking, and I need to crack on before it dries. So I'll now section my hair off into three layers and start drying my hair. Let's see what happens. I'm really excited to see what happens. So I've put one third of my hair on top of my head and now I'm going to brush using my paddle brush the hair that I'm going to dry. Please excuse my roots. I seem to have grey coming through at the rate of knots at the moment. Oh, you get older, eh? Okay, so my hair is quite wet here on the bottom. This is probably the wettest section, especially here. We'll see how this does. The straightener has fans on the side here. And what's important is you don't want when you use it to have those blowing up because your hair will just go crazy, something I discovered yesterday when I tried it. So you do need to make sure whichever side you're on, you're always holding it the right way with the fans facing down. You can use these fans to dry the very top section here that it might not be able to reach because if I go like this, it's getting very close to the to the top of my head, but maybe the very top here won't quite dry. So what I'll do is I'll very quickly use these now to just dry this top bit, and then I'll start the straightening drying process. It's important to note you need to squeeze together for the power to actually kick in. That's dry in one stroke. Okay, my hair wasn't soaking wet. That's dry in one stroke. Okay, <laughs> I'm impressed so far. And now I'll try the cold shot. Okay, so I went down twice and it's completely dry and I sealed it with a cold shot. I don't think it's quite right yet. I don't think it's sleek enough from a straightening point of view, but then I haven't switched to the dry setting, which is how I will finish. So I'm going to do the next bit and the rest of my hair using exactly the same settings and I'll just speed this up for you. So that's how my hair is looking going over each section. I just did each bit twice and then a cold shot at the end. I did need to go in at the very end where my hair was fully down and go at the roots a little bit more where it was still a bit damp. They do feel dry now. So this is definitely the quickest 
way I've ever dried my hair and nothing has ever made my hair this straight before without actually going into the straightening process. So it's dried it very straight and it's still a little bit fuzzy for me. It's not giving that sleek finish but I haven't tried the dry hair setting which is what I'm going to do now. I just want to say before I do that, every time you pick it up it starts to, to go off. It does go off when you put it down. It does, there, see? <laughs> as soon as you pick it up, it starts to make that low noise and then when you go into actually using it, it gets louder. I'll show you now again. So if I pick it up, I was just picking it up and then... So there's three temperature settings for the wet hair. That's 80, 110 and 140. That's degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And I was using 110, which must be the preset, which was fine actually. I don't think I need to go higher. But now I'm going to try. Oh, I just picked it up. Oh, I didn't make. I didn't do it. Oh, okay, yes, it did. <laughs> now I'm going to try the dry setting and see if that gives me the sort of sleek finish I'm looking for. So I'm going to try that on. I think. Oh, do I go on the boost? So the dry setting has got 120 degrees, 140 degrees and boost. I'll try it first with 140 and see how that goes. But I think from testing yesterday, I'll be looking at a boost for the sort of finish straighten. But at the moment, it's given me quite a nice sort of blown out, fresh from the salon look. I'm quite pleased with that. But I am pleased with that because nothing has ever dried my hair without it still looking really quite wavy. Even when I try really hard with the brush attachments and curl it under and straighten it and dry it with a brush. This is definitely the best so far ever of any product I've tried. Also worth noting, I always use this, the Dream Coat from WOW. This is absolutely brilliant if you've got frizzy hair. This, is, this really does help to lock in the sort of um, hydration issues that you get. So if you, even if you get your hair wet, this can help to stop your hair frizzing up and this has been the best product I've ever tried for my hair. This is my third bottle of this which I'll give you an indication. And actually I've, I've just become an ambassador for Look Fantastic and I noticed that one of the things you can get my discount with is this. I've got a 21% discount. It works for most brands but not all but it does work for this. So happy days for me and, and for you if you want to try it. All my um, discount codes are below if they're any use to you. But that is, yeah, that is brilliant. I've got to stop touching that because it does that. So now I'm just going to go in for a finish straight and I'm not going to section off or anything. I'm just going to go in for touch-ups as I would if I was using my GHDs because at this point I would just be looking to straighten up and neaten up. So it's on 140 degrees and it's on dry setting. So we'll see how this does. So that's how it's looking after using it on the dry setting, but not on boost. So I haven't gone top temperature, but I think it has achieved exactly what my GHDs do. I'd say it maybe took a little bit more time doing it. Not a lot, a little bit more time. But yeah, I think it has given me that less frizzy, more sleek look. If you remember how curly my hair was to start with, or how wavy. So all of this has been achieved without using hot irons. I'll just quickly use the boost to see what if that does any more, but I'm not really thinking it needs any to be honest. But anyway, I'll just do a little bit here, because these ends are a little bit frizzy still. But these ends usually are a bit frizzy on wash day. I usually find they look best the day after. So... I wouldn't expect them to look much better than this anyway, so we'll just see. Well, I think the boost function has actually improved. I'm really pleased with this, really impressed. One thing to note is, can you tell from my rosy cheeks? 
this makes you really warm because you've just got this hot blast coming out of these fans the whole time. So unlike when you're using a straightening iron, shush. <laughs> unlike when you're using a straightening iron, you are getting this constant blast of warm air all around you. So I am sitting in a room with no heating. I do have a jumper. And, but it's winter so I do wonder in the summer when it's really warm how I will find that will I find that difficult and um, this is just for wash day for straightening during the week and for tidy ups obviously I won't spend this much time and I have spent a bit longer than I, I think I will in the future because I've just been testing it out and trying out different ways and another thing I did was when I dried it from the beginning I did go on that lower temperature and I think next time I'll try on the higher temperature to see if I might even get away with just going one pass on my hair rather than even two. So, I mean, I think if my hair... I've got to stop picking this up. <laughs> Shush. What was I even saying? Okay, so train of thought has gone. Dyson interrupted me. Sorry about that. It's just, well, another brain fog day for me. Um... Anyway, next time I wash my hair, I will try the highest temperature setting. I will go for one pass, and I think I could probably dry my whole hair if it's not soaking, if it's just as it was, which is I've ha had it in a microfiber towel, which is what I always do, and I leave that on for about 10 minutes and then let my hair down, put my um, Color Wow or whatever I'm using, yeah, Color Wow, and start. So it's sort of it's wet to damp but not soaking. Anyway, I think when my hair is wet to damp, one pass on the high heat will pretty much dry my hair and I can probably do it in five minutes. Obviously, you can see I don't have super thick hair so I can dry mine quite quickly. So if you had thicker hair, you're probably looking at two or three passes but I think, I think you'd be amazed at how quickly you can actually dry your hair. And the other thing I will be trying is letting my hair dry completely naturally. And which is something I often do with my current GHDs and seeing if I can just go straight in with the straightening and see if that makes a difference. Do I need to actually dry it with this to get the full effect that might have lasting results or can I just let it dry naturally and just go in with the hot setting and straighten which is another option and less heat on the hair. So, so far super impressed with this really really pleased it was very easy to use the only thing is remembering to keep it the right way up it's a it is a little bit uncomfortable after a while because it's i don't know my my hand is having to done it again my hand is having to grip around something that's basically a lot bigger than i'm used to and i'm move, maneuvering it around but it's, it's not too bad and i think it's just a question of getting used to it but it's not uncomfortable and I'm happy with it and I have just spent an awful long time messing around with it which I won't be doing in the future so it's not too heavy and it's nowhere near as bulky as I feared and so far it's worked very nicely it did at one point with the plug actually um, cut out because I'm using an extension lead so I probably shouldn't do that so don't follow what I did and use an extension lead put it straight into the plug it's just where I am in my setup I'm nowhere near a plug for filming but I wouldn't advise using any extensions. I'm, I'm sure it says somewhere in the instructions not to do that. I did put it back on and it's been fine, but clearly it didn't like that. So that's another tip if you're, if you're using extension leads. So that's about it from me. I am extremely pleased with my new toy. And at the moment I'd say I really, really recommend this. I'm really pleased with the finish. I've gone from my curly fuzzy hair to this without a hot iron. That hasn't happened to me in 15 years. So, thank you. Thank you, Dyson. And the bonus is my hair health could really improve. So, I'm excited now to see what the next few months will bring and whether my hair will just get healthier because I've been trying to make it grow back in areas where it's thinned. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks, you know. It does look healthy. And it's straight. Yay! Anyway, that's all from me. I need to go and cool off. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that here for now and tomorrow I will come straight back and show you what my hair looks like first thing in the morning and how I need to straight how much I need to straighten it and how successful I am just using the hot option in doing a quick straighten and tidy up. So that'll be quite interesting. How straight has it stayed? Has it gone into a frizzy mess overnight? 
I will be sleeping on my silk pillow which does help me to avoid that and putting it in my little silk bubble which is somewhere around here no it's not yes it is yeah <laughs> from beauty pie my silk bubble so I'll be doing what I can to protect my hair from um, frizzing up and breaking and we'll see what it looks like in the morning and I'll see you then. So this is the morning after and this is how my hair looks this morning. All I've done is brush it. So as you can see, it's definitely not as sleek and straight as it was last night. The day after wash day is usually my worst day for being more frizzy, even when I've straightened it the day before. So I would expect it to be a bit more frizzy, but to be fair, it's held its straightened look a lot better than it would normally if I'd have just used my straighteners. So I'm not too unhappy with this. Would I go out like this? No. But it, I think it means a lot less work for me to quickly straighten up and get this finished, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to put it onto the boost for the dry hair setting and see how that goes. I'll just speed it up for you so you can see and we'll look at what my hair looks like and hopefully see that it didn't take me too long. That's one pass for two sections. It's already worked very well so far. I'll speed it up to try the rest. So here's how my hair is looking after using the boost function on the dry hair setting. I would say I spent the same amount of time as I would using my hot iron GHDs and I'm getting the same results. There's something just a bit more shiny and natural looking about my hair. It just feels lighter and softer than when I use the, the straight iron. So the hot iron straighteners, I keep confusing those two words. So I think it looks better. I think it looks more natural. And one thing from yesterday is when I went to bed, a good, I don't know, 10, 12 hours after filming the video, my hair still looked really good and still really straight. Now on wash day, when I straighten my hair normally, after about three hours, it doesn't look that good. It does need a good touch up. I do need to touch my hair up a lot, especially when I'm in humid conditions. So like on holiday, for instance, it can be a nightmare. That's why I tend to go back to having my curly hair in the hot weather. But obviously we're not in hot weather now. But I'm wondering if this might just keep my hair straight in the summer better than my straighteners ever did. But right now, from the whole experience, from yesterday, drying it, straightening it, and now today, waking up, seeing how it looked and straightening it, the experience compared with my previous routine of using straighteners is that I think my hair looks better, it lasts longer, it's as easy to do, not easier, I'd say, that's, that's the word. One thing I did keep doing that was driving me potty is when I'm, I'm doing this side absolutely fine, with the blowers facing down and I flip to do this side like I would normally with my straighteners and then the blowers are going up and it sends your hair all over the place. So when you switch to the other side, you can't just go like that. You have to be careful to go from doing it this way and then keep it in the right place. I mean, that's something, that's just habit. I've been doing 15 years with GHD, so. So, what do I think? What do you think? Was it worth the investment? I mean, if this is what I can achieve permanently and my hair health is going to improve, then this is worth absolutely every single penny because it's done exactly what I need it to in a way that I think my hair looks better. I think it looks shinier. I think it looks healthier. It feels, feels softer and it feels more lightweight. I don't really know why it feels more lightweight. I don't know if it's because it's just got all of the moisture out then so would straighteners I suppose, I don't know, but it just feels lighter and bouncier in a way. I'm really, really happy with that. So my overall review on this, as you can probably tell, is that I think this was well and truly worth it. I'm really pleased. 
if, if you, like me, have been straightening your hair for a long time and you'd like to improve the health of your hair, then this could just be the absolute perfect solution. I think it's the only thing on the market that can do this job where it can straighten this well without using any hot irons. I mean, one thing worth noting is there are plates inside here, but they just don't reach the temperatures that the, the I think it's 260 or something extremely high with GHDs. So that was the temperature I needed to get my hair straight. So this is using the hot air plus these warmed plates and it's just a completely different technique, it's a different science behind it and it just, it works. So yeah, I am extremely happy. I will be using this every day, hopefully for a very long time, but if I notice any differences or if I have any more tips for you, I'll pop them below in an update. So keep an eye on this video because I will change anything in my notes below if I'm noting anything that I think might be useful to you. So anyway, that's all from me. I really hope this has been useful to you and I'd love to hear from you. Have you thought about getting this? Are you in the US and you've already got it? What do you think of it? And do you love it as much as me? If you've got any tips, I'd be very happy to hear them. And yeah, that's it. I'm a happy bunny today. So if you've enjoyed this content, my content is usually makeup, but obviously I will review things if I think they're beneficial to my beauty routine and you might be interested. So if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe below. It really does help my channel so very much. And thank you so much for watching. You don't know how much I appreciate it. And I'll see you for my next video. Bye.